What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are finally doing a deck with Coffee Zombie. Uh, it's a card that is very expensive for what it does, but I think it is justified in a Flag Swarm deck. I'm doing one of my favorite strategies in this game. You play Flag Zombie and a whole bunch of one drops. Um, you're all you're gonna be able to usually you're just gonna pass turn one if you have flag in your hand and then just play flag on turn two with all these one drops and they're not gonna be able to remove all of them. Every single card in this deck, these one drops are independent threats. The con man ends up doing a lot of damage over time. Genetic experiment, of course, will be growing every single turn. A very huge value for one cost card. Middle manager will not only conjure you, sometimes another one drop to play that turn, uh, but also will grow every single time one of your professionals. Uh, get hurt so that's an independent threat and teacher will help you play your superpowers and your healthy treats and your going virals and all your tricks uh, for cheaper also running a few fossil heads i feel like this makes the flag zombie not brick like getting this late in the game's not that good but if you can combine it with a fossil head uh one cost fossil head so then this will end up being a four a five um untrickable which is a very good threat it gives you another way of playing in the early game in case you don't get your flag zombie so you can just play this like tempo play your con man on one you didn't get your flag zombie play teacher with another one drop on turn two with a superpower uh, and you're able to build up tempo the uh coffee zombie is going to be an alternative to going viral i'm actually still running four going virals which is sort of auto include in this deck it'll make all of your cards Small cards that you've swarmed on the board bigger and have frenzy, so they'll be able to finish off opponents. Uh, the coffee zombie will also be the same thing. The reason this will work in a flag swarm deck is not only do you have a lot of targets, so you'll be getting a lot more value from the coffee zombie, but the coffee zombie itself can be played earlier. This will only cost five if you still have your flag zombie on the field. Uh, so you can play that a turn earlier and really get the value from that. I'm also running a couple of Warlords, which again can also buff all of your minions on the board and also be played earlier. We're going to see if this uh, these late game cards really add uh, to the deck. Uh, it's kind of cool because usually you in Flag Storm decks, you sort of have to keep going viral in your starting hand if you get it because you really need this as a finisher. But I think that having the coffee zombies in the deck gives you the luxury of being able to mulligan away your going viral. We'll keep an eye on this if this is really a smart strategy and be able to get that really strong, you know, early game first couple of turns with your flag swarm or with your tempo, uh, be able to get more efficient cards in the early game. And then uh, you'll have a much bigger chance of drawing into one of your finishers, either going viral or the extra coffee zombies uh, in this deck. If you think of coffee zombie, uh, compared to going viral, think of the card that you drew from going viral. Again, does the same thing. Think of the card you drew as being a 4-3. Uh, a 3 cost 4-3. And that way, this extra 3 brains is be spent on a 4-3, which, by the way, immediately um, turns into a 5-4, a, a, a obviously. So a 3 cost 4-3 together with a going viral is usually anyway going to be good value. Uh, so that will hopefully justify. And again... With Flag Zombie, it'll actually be a 2 cost 4-3, uh, which is obviously insanely OP. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy, and let's see if we can make Coffee Zombie, a card that's been around since set 1. I think this is right. It's a base set card. have barely ever used this card because of how expensive it is and how outclassed it is by going viral. Let's see if we can make Coffee be viable. Uh, we'll be have time for 10 games today, so if you think if we're going to get 7 wins out of 10 vote, yes? 6 out of 10 is going to be an over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. I have faith. I'm definitely going to be mulliganing out any of the going viral warlord or coffee out of our starting hand. Um, this isn't the greatest early game card, but having a fruitcake against a triceratops is kind of our only hope. I'm not really sure about this mulligan. I'll keep these two cards, and we'll go from there. Conman's a very good card against Grass Knuckles on turn 1. Plays very well around his... Uh, Forget me nuts that he plays. Here's Galacta. Uh, with it's interesting because with Warlord, like we don't have to play that fast, which is a very interesting situation to be in with Zemek. Now we are seeing the late game cards brick a little bit here. I'll play Middle Manager. Woo! I'm gonna save the Lightning Bolt for his card that he plays this turn. Uh, we'll be able to play this. Off curve later. It's a good lightning bolt. Uh, it's kind of cool because this would have taken damage and buffed this to two attack, but it's okay. We have. We're playing a little more safe. We'll have this plus fruitcake this turn. Be able to kill the Captain Cucumber or 
Triceratops or whatever else he plays, and then going viral on turn four, maybe we'll get another one drop. Very high chance. It's about a 40% chance of getting a one drop. So that's awesome. Could you play Vegetation Mutation and make this worth it, please? Oh! Shit. So I think we fruitcake, since this one trades well, we fruitcake this one. And we'll have a 2-1 on the board. It feeds him a card, but we got to maintain our tempo. It's going viral, so the only card we can get is Healthy Treat would be a really good top deck. This is weird. We're playing ZMAX Swarm slowly. Because we're bricked. We're bricked with all of our late game cards. I wonder if this is a problem, you know? I'll, I'll definitely cut some of the copies of these late game cards out. If need be. Here's a one drop. We probably just Warlord here, right? I guess if we get one more one cost card, I'll go for the going viral here. That counts. Definitely counts. So, this is the better play. Uh, we're not really playing around Rumble, though. <laughs> playing very heavily into... Did he, did he drop? No! Oh, this screws us. Are you kidding me, man? So he gets Starfruit, and we can't even go in Viral. So this just kills our life for free here. And Forget-Me-Nuts. I mean, that's probably the best two cards this guy could have had. Come on, man. Can we block and get our super here, please? <sighs> At least we'll block this dude... This is not good. Not good at all. Uh, this doesn't actually die. I'll probably play the Warlord first here. Right? We need a leap. We need a leap. Oh, we actually get Mustache Synergy. That's awesome. In fact, I think it enable us to play now. We don't play going viral. That's kind of crazy, though. Is this one better? I don't know. Coffee was probably better there. I get the extra buff. Yay! <laughs> Can I just play coffee next turn? He's protecting that one instead of the star fruit for some reason. Why did he not protect his starfruit? He's valuing forget-me-nuts over starfruit? Are you high? Is the man extra high? Uh, this is a good play. It kills the Captain Cucumber. No, no, it doesn't. Just our guy takes the damage. Uh, I can't tell if we're doing well in this game. Let's see if we get a one drop here. It would be nice. Uh, that counts as a one drop. <laughs> la, 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 la. So this will do five. I'm just trying to think which direction to go here. It doesn't really matter. The coffee's the better card. Eh? So we'll make it live more. Not being in spike weeds like that. They both of them win both trades. The Captain Cucumber is the better card, so maybe putting more attack the player on like another photosynthesizer, but... And there's Dragon. Uh, this Captain Cucumber is being godlike, as usual. Can we block this, please? I don't even know if that's good. Well, I might as well play this, because there's maybe another opportunity. Uh, so Fruitcake would be decent. We just need two damage. Let's count, man. I guess I should block this and hope he doesn't have three damage. <laughs> he definitely does. <sighs> Maybe he does he can't do three damage, guys. Maybe we're fine. <laughs> we're so dead because of I mean, I don't know, man. Because of Starfruit, which he didn't protect for some weird reason. And Dragon. We would have had him, right? We would have had him in lane one with just going viral on the comment. 
It's so sad. All right, 0-1, but I'm actually feeling optimistic about the deck. It did brick a little bit, which is a little sad. Uh, we didn't get the early game cards we really wanted, and maybe this is, again, the flaw in Coffee Zombie being exposed and how many turns. If you get that in your starting hand, how useless it is in a deck that needs to swarm, that synergizes with Coffee Zombie, needs to produce early and establish tempo, how Coffee Zombie anti-synergizes with that condition by bricking your hand. I'm gonna get rid of all the going virals and everything. Alright, this is a very decent starting hand. We'll see, but all the superpowers of Zmac are quite good. That's fine, so we're definitely gonna do the turn two way. Um, just trying to think about lanes here. Uh, wow. I don't, do we even want a rock wall something? We probably do. Uh, and we definitely want two genetics on the board, so I guess I'll do teacher. It's a little bit awkward. Teacher dying is okay, right? I'm gonna do it like this. I'm just trying to think about where my middle manager. I would like that to be in lane four next turn. Just trying to think about where it goes. I just want to be able to rock wall these genetic experiments are like. The real, real heavy tempo here. It's so cool playing all this on turn two, by the way. Thank you, Flag Zombie. I love this combo. Guys who voted yes, by the way, don't don't take that loss to heart. This deck is doing well, and we got BS'd by Captain Cucumber. It's okay. It's not going to be happening like that every game. This deck is doing okay here. Huh? Here's Warlord. Again, the moment he starts dealing, I almost want him to kill something so I can play this next turn, but we have enough going on here. <laughs> he did nothing. It's okay, we're still gaining passive income. Oh no, he did kill something. So now he's double splashing here. I think I want the Flag Zombie to live so I can Warlord already. Yep, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna buff this one. A little bit awkward there. Because these are more valuable, but playing the Warlord here is so good. We get to play it an entire turn earlier. These end up going down, but they're gonna go up to two naturally, and then they go up to even more because of the Warlord here. The flag itself is becoming a threat. It's already a 2 5, it'll be a 3 6 when we play the Going Viral. So we're obviously in really good shape. Even if he plays a card with three attack, it'll basically take his entire turn to kill one of these genetics, and we have so much hand refill. He's just healing, like, desperately, because we're already doing, besides for all the tempo, we we're just doing so much damage already. So that's cool. Uh, going Viral is a really, really good card here, obviously. Uh, this will still trade, but it's fine. Almost would rather him... <laughs> Just so we can develop another card already. There's another going viral. We'll have to see it. As many going virals, I think, right now, unless he doom shrooms. That would be sad if he had that. Uh, so this will die, but strong play. We definitely use the going viral here. There's coffee. See what's better, middle manager going viral or coffee here? I hope he's not running Doomshare. I guess if you're running Allosaurus, you usually don't run Doomshare with that. This guy is just desperate right now. It's probably the coffee, though, right? I think putting more big threats on the board. They don't have to play going viral here. Coffee it is. Huge. 6-5 for dead kills. Oh, Briar Rose could be a problem. Wow, he eliminates two big dudes here. Fortunately, the Briar Rose dies too. Uh, we're also going phase for five. He'll heal one at the end of the turn. Alright. We still have plenty of ammunition. Uh, fruit cake is huge. So we'll go here now. I was going to put it here maybe with the going viral, but yes! So it's gonna be... Um, 
Question is, like, should we be going for fruitcake and going viral here? Probably. Going into forget me nuts. Dude. Dude! Going viral. I'll free cake too, just to make this go fast. Oh. Uh, we don't need to free cake anymore because we can just healthy treat. We'll save the free cake for next year. Because this, this goes face now for six. In fact, it goes six, and then this middle manager just got buffed. So it makes it more likely for us to win here. Can we win? Yes! Alright, pretty good deck with a lot of healing, but we were still able to muscle through because of, you know, Warlord and Coffee, I feel like, gave us that extra stuff. You know, Flagstorm decks, if they're able to heal enough or really withstand that early game onslaught, they'll usually beat Flagstorm. That's why having a little extra early camp is nice. So I'm getting rid of this. Be nice to see something for Fossil Head. I'll just mulligan this now. Alright. I have a flag swarm play. I could play one of the conmans here on turn one. It just means cards, you know, like Reincarnation and Shroom for Two can sort of deal with one of these when they otherwise would not be able to. Also, his super could hit one of these. I'm gonna go with my gut and pass here. It also sort of plays around. Um, Pawns of Pumpkin. So I think I'd like the Flag Zombie to live as long as possible. I'm gonna do it like this. Keep our guys alive. We'll just go in viral next turn. I don't think this is gonna be too big of a threat. He doesn't play in environments until next turn anyway. It's okay. Uh, so if we get a one drop, we'll see what we get. We have the Warlord coming up on turn four, which is always nice. I'll play around his environment here. We'll clog the ground lanes. I think it's a much better scorch though, so. Uh, so going viral is... going viral's gotta be the play, right? Well, keep the tempo up on this board. It makes the Warlord a lot better next turn. Uh, this is a good super, but we'll, we'll probably just get a better one later. In fact, we don't even have to Warlord right now. We could just go for the super. Should we do it? Is that crazy? It would be Flag Zombie. Bam. See, these two cards both die. If we don't use our, our Z-Mac, it'd be nice to get more like a fossil head from this top deck would have been nice, or a going viral. And if he if we clear his field here, we can't even play the Warlord next turn. I I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna say. Even though this looks like a, it's gonna be a very high powered Z-Mac super. A little tough decision, but we're getting everything like to 2-4 here, which makes it Harder for, for him to deal with. I hope this is the right play. These flag zombies, which usually are bricks, are all of a sudden just two fours, so. Let's go. Cool. Middle manager. Play this first. Hopefully, I'll get something a little higher powered than two four. That ain't bad. It's pretty good. Especially against the other player. Here, blast that. Landscape. It feels really bad to use our ultimate on that, so I'm just not gonna do it. Still looking for, like, Coffee Zombie. Or another Warlord would be really nice. We do I feel like we're just getting stalled out here. Uh, opponent's down to 10, though. I think we're okay. Can we get a buff card? Yes. So this is free now. I'll do it like this. 
because we can still play our, our super here, which is really nice. Um, to kill the wingnut. He might be banking on us not getting all these frenzied attacks. Uh, so it's nice to have three damage. Are you running Cuke? Are you for real? We still get four, though. It's pretty strong. The man is running Cuke. Around cherry bomb, I guess. They're spreading these. <laughs> these uh, I wish I was cherry bomb. And that'll do it. Four and two wins. Guarantee. Got him. Woo! Zach's doing okay. It seems like we're, if anything, begging for more, you know, in the bad mat in the good matchups, we just win. In the bad matchups. We just want more Warlords and more coffee, so... I think it was good. We got... I mean, the turn we played coffee, we got cuked, so maybe it wasn't that good. <laughs> going viral would have been better, but... We're running four going virals. We're just adding more going virals to a deck like this, basically. Are Conjure decks fun to play right now? Oh, yeah. You should see the last YouTube video I posted. It's called Ramp to Nothing. Ramp to Nothing Except Conjures. Alright, so we mulligan these out. So, again, you know, Fruitcake against Chumzilla ends up getting value, but you typically don't need it early. The only cards you need it early against is, like, Black IP, C Captain Cucumber. You typically want this more in the late game. Oh, that's... All of a sudden became a okay starting hand, becoming an extremely strong starting hand. I'm going to put the flag here, too, so these middle managers automatically get a buff. We'll play the middle managers. Uh, sorry, I forgot to change the score. Uh, I'll play the middle managers first just to see what we get out of them. Ooh, that's a good fossil head too, man. That's going to be a really quick way to get some more tempo on turn three, which is so very nice. Con man, decent. Or for Chumzilla, deal. Wow, nothing! Uh, the question is, like, where do we even put the Fossil Head? I think these middle managers are growing enough to just say Fossil Head in one. You know, these are already going to be three twos here. Flag Zombie, kind of just even trades. It's nice this going face. It's also nice to have a card in the ground that doesn't die to Cuke and all that, but I think this is fine. We're in very, very decent shape. We have a Strength here, Brute Strength, too. In case we need to correct a trade or something. I might brute strength. I can also just go face. Heal. Heal does very little there. So do we want to brute strength? We can kill the 3-3. Three, three. We can do it here. The problem is block ultimate does hit this card. How good is this lane being clear? Honestly, I'm probably just going to Landscaper next turn, and I sort of want this to take damage. Like, I don't... I, I, I like the 2-2 two, two going into a 3-1 there. I think I'm going to play around his ultimate and just do this later. I'll do it next turn. Look at these three twos here, though. Like, if he blocks and gets his super, he kills the Brute Strength for free. So, I I'll just save it for next turn. It'll be better. Landscaper looks really, really good here. And it opens the lane for Warlord. It corrects a trade here, so... It'll basically keep one of these alive, give an, uh, an extra attack buff, and we still have enough for Strength. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Scorch. Uh, so this is a really good way to neutralize Captain Cucumber. He needs a miracle right now, and this completely ruins any chance of that. Uh, I think I go face here, right? His Captain Cucumber is not really that important. Uh, since it's, you know, it still has Conjure Synergy for this next turn, but it being on the board one time, it's better just to go face for that damage. And we just play Warlord. Warlord's like the perfect card here. Because even if he answers, you know, two of these minions, we'll still have two 
buffed Podium. plus middle manager basically puts two minions. We'll use the fruitcake. We could have gone for middle manager fruitcake there. But he has a full block meter. Okay, so he gets value. The thing is, though, is that now he didn't even deal with this, by the way. He's going to end up trading a lane off of that. They gave us more attack here. It's fine. And yeah. Then we rolled a one. It didn't matter. The next turn, we would have had him pretty easily with middle manager, got whatever it conjures, whatever else we draw, which is usually cheap. And then just free cake. Fruitcake is a good tempo card. As well as being a good finisher, because it's a good way of opening a lane. Thank you, Manguza. And sorry that the, 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 the Twitch is not ringing anymore. It doesn't make sound. I haven't managed to fix that. Is it Polco Dio? Does that mean something in Spanish that I shouldn't be saying in the stream? Uh, I fry, I like coffee. That was from Deca. Thanks for subscribing, you guys. We're gonna get rid of this. Uh, gonna get rid of going viral. Ooh, okay, so we're just looking for any professional card. This is a very bad starting hand. We need a leap. The question is, we should I get rid of this? I probably shouldn't. Hello, love the Here's content. Our professional. I can watch Fry's videos all day play, long. Then. Uh, we're gonna be weak against Cycle Cap since we're coming to such a slow start. Maybe if we top deck some con mans that can punish the. Psycho cap draw. Super. It's okay. We drew from that. Is it possible to get the brown coat from the tutorial with middle manager? I mean, I've been playing middle manager in almost every hardy deck for the last two years. I've never seen brown coat, so I'm gonna say no. I've never really seen it come up out of a portal technician or out of uh I don't know what else can can make a brown coat theoretically. I don't think so. I don't think it's in the either of the game. I think this is okay. It'll get berry blasted usually. But if he tries to counter it with a minion, then we get I get two for one here with our super. So. There's that. I'm not going to use my super on this. It's just a 3-1. It's damage, but... I, I hope he doesn't have Planet of the Grapes. There's not really anything we can do about it if he does. Good trade, plus hopefully neutralize something. It's our best case. Professional cards that are conjured from Middle Manager. It's a decent card set. Like, even, like, Landscaper. I don't run this a lot, but, like, it's an okay card. <laughs> it did pretty well last game. He does have planet, unfortunately. Good play by him. We're, we're probably going to lose this just because it's cycle cap. It's such a weird meta deck. That's why we have to run a... We can actually like going viral plus ultimate here. He has Astro, of course. We'll clear his board, but he'll usually draw into his next Astro shame, so... Hopefully he doesn't. You know, the, I guess if we he doesn't draw into the next Astro Shroom, second one will kind of be okay here. Yeah, Con Man would have been really good to punish this. Would have been really the answer, because then every time he draws a card, he also takes damage. And then we can maybe finish him off with going far all that. It wasn't to be. Everything has one health in this day. I should make a tier list of the PvZ maps. Do people really want to see that? <laughs> Oh, 
Well, we still have eight health left. He only has eight cards in his hand next turn. <laughs> we'll be fine, guys. We're definitely not going to be fine. Wow, what an insanely bad draw. Ugh, we're so done. If we, we'd have to get so lucky. Even Admiral Navy being at this point kills us, so... If he doesn't get Astro or Admiral, we'll be okay. We're definitely not okay. He just takes us, so... Wow, we bricked. It's okay, we'll take the L. Uh, that's a good sign. Wow. He didn't have any more minions? That's so strange. Gotta do that. I don't understand that play. He thought maybe we'd like burst him, he didn't have enough damage. Here's this now. Okay. I don't think we can quite Warlord yet. It plays around Berry Blast. But I think we have to go on Viral on Fruitcake since we're just so low in health. He's running Cherry Bone, okay. Oh, he got that from this. He got it from the High Wolven. Bruh. <laughs> I guess I'll just Fruitcake this, right? We can't afford to take three, hey? So, con man? For the win? Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. I mean, still doesn't do a whole lot. It has four health though. Such a good thing. Yeah, we have a minute delay. It slightly reduces the amount of snipers, not really. What the hell? He got this from Fruitcake. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, no. So this will go up to seven. It still does. Ugh. Ah, value. Uh, what kind of miracle would it take? Is killing the Guacodile worth it? Uh, middle manager, middle manager, middle manager for starters would be good. It's not good. You need environments in the stack. What would I take out though? The environments sort of like ruin the early game because they don't really like help you establish tempo. I think the deck becomes obviously would be way better against cycle cap if we had environments, but becomes worse against every other deck in the game. So I'm not running it. Like, should I just take out my teachers and put an environment? I don't know. It throws off the fossil heads and... Oh my gosh. Wee! More! Oh. Here's the middle manager chain. Doink, doink, doink. Echo's face. Lightning bolt snipers. Alright. It's okay. We lose the cycle cap. Very happy building a deck that wins against most things and dies the cycle, you know? We even had two con man that game, but he just said answers. La, 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 la. This is a good early game tempo here. Uh, I want the option of playing this on Heights if he doesn't play his superpower here and just play on Scorch. So I'll put this in too. It's okay if this isn't surrounded on both sides, it's still better to play on Scorch. Oh, uh, his super kills have it. Oh, Flag Swarm now. I think I'm still gonna do that next turn. Okay. Should I save this? Still have no idea what superpower he has. 
I probably should not save this. We'll do that one. Two copies. Is that good? Just thinking like hit, hit, proc the, proc the block. Then Scorch, I guess. Or ultimate. Always hits the mini ninja. There's Scorch. But that was it, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is not turn five. These copies, unfortunately, are brick right here. So any of our early game cards going viral would be great. The ultimates. Ah, Flag Zombie saves the important cards from getting busted. So good. Let's go, man. Hey, Ben. It's damage. He's down to 10. It's turn 4. So we can just lightning bolt something. Uh, he gets discounted from the heals too because of the con man he draws. So. This guy is in trouble. Uh, easy? I don't know what he was running, but. Not much. Uh, the deck's doing okay. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, guys. We lost the Cycle Cap, we lost the Captain Cucumber Conjuring Starfruit and Dragon perfectly. Turn 7 Dragon, turn 4 Starfruit. This is fine. This is a very good starting hand. I don't think we have to mulligan anything here. Uh, so we'll do comment on one. And it lets us like set these up next turn. We can kill the Triceratops. We can. So okay. We the lightning bolt hits this two one. Comment on one Z Max Super on two is really good because the two twos die for free. Uh so middle manager first. I love how this just gives us a whole nother card, and sometimes it's something pretty beefy. If he plays a, a three health minion right now, uh, we kind of just went. That we did not want to see. He rumbles that too, that's crazy. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this. The lightning bolt is not necessary, this will still have one health. Uh, it'll be able to remove something good. This is still like a two for one. Healthy tree. Such a good card. I think we're okay here. Again, because we have the Lycan cards. Without the Lycan cards, this would be pretty dire. I'm just trying to think, like, is, is setting these up even good yet? Setting up Flag means we could play on turn four. We could play Warlord if we top deck it. I don't... I mean, giving him superpowers is grinding him down. I'm just trying to consider, like... All right, he used his rumble already, so I think I will pull the trigger on this. This probably should have gone one, two, three in case we get middle manager. Oh yeah, we're doing ten games. That's annoying. This doesn't prevent anything, so we'll do it next turn. This will have one health. That's a good Captain Cucumber. Man, going viral would have been so sweet there. Would hit all three. We really just need some value here. So middle manager, fossil head would be great. Warlord would be perfect kidding me man so let's make it look like we don't have the lightning bolt in their hands by fronting this with the warlord play little mind games and we still have lightning bolt because teacher so it kills this prevents the draw and we'll correct the trade in a different way oh my gosh top deck warlord coming in clutch uh, doesn't matter which one Heroes tier list? Maybe I'll redo Heroes tier list too. It probably would be different. Rose will just be in double S tier. <laughs> Here's where they go. It's going viral. Into Nurse next turn. It's pretty good. Top decking a second going viral or a fruitcake. Any, any of our three tricks that are running in this deck would be really nice. So that's harsh. Come on, Fruitcake, where are you? We need you. We killed the card that the last one. <laughs> oh no, you got that from Captain Cucumber. What is with the Captain Cucumbers just wrecking us today? It's ridiculous. Oh, 
Oh, that's harsh. It doesn't actually kill the flag, so we just play nurse here. Should I nurse here instead? There's coffee there too. How do we do this? It unfreezes. I mean, this one dies harder to Shamrocket. At least if he Shamrockets and we play this, like the Warlord gets a buff. I'll be down to one. Playing around like... Kind of playing around Free Cake too. Or Plant. Just to get some other value this turn. It means like Galactic Cactus, he can't play it anymore. Here's Shamrock. Yeah. Made the right decision. Because we're still at 5 5. Sophie? Fruitcake still kills us. <laughs> uh, opponent's down to 1 health. We'll still have. We'll still have 7. I think we're doing okay here. Nice. Uh, so now we do this. Watch him just plant food time to shine in. Body gore. That's healing for a 7, really. It keeps us alive. Like, we're getting really low health. Can we please... Can you not have time to shine here? Did he ever use the superpowers? Ah, that doesn't do enough. So the nurse gets frozen here, but does heal for seven. And we have card refresh in our hand. I think we're okay here. Just buys us a little time, you know? Let's see what we get for middle manager. This does go up to three. So I don't really have to push face with this. Middle manager. To see it. Thank you, Gilhermidjune. With R10? I don't know how much that is. Is that rubles? Let's go with this. Well, healthy trade and heal. Next turn. Just buffing everything. Kind of awesome. There's that. Seven, this will go up to seven, so there's no point in doing it here. We could do the Warlord. We can also do like the Nurse. I feel like long term, because he doesn't have another Shamrocket. Well, we're, we, we can heal the Nurse too. Let's do it on the Nurse. We can end up healing face if we need to. Healing the Nurse here ain't bad either. The Nurse has like a base health of like 10 though. That was crazy. Uh, Nurse is also professional, so this walnut dies. It's, it's kind of good. Can we get like a going fire here? In fact, the opponent's kind of dumb. I'm gonna actually heal face here because the plant food is kind of the win condition. Like, going viral just breaks through and kills this Galacta, which kills his face. So. I think playing Galacta. I think us doing that. No, 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 no! 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 Bruh, we had that game, man. Come on, <laughs> bro. There's our third loss. We died to Espresso Fiesta and I tried Kiritas. We just didn't get a fruitcake that game. That's so sad. We freaking had that guy too, man. <sighs> Feels bad. Feels quite bad indeed. It sucks. Is this the same nightcap as before? We're just gonna get cycle cap again. If it's the same one, I'll I'll just skip this. Nope, it's a different nightcap. Probably gonna be cycle cap.
The ironic thing is that we got demolished by a coffee themed card. I think we wait to do this on three to play around his environment. Really? Spamming two cards already? Do I lightning bolt this? Yeah, that, that definitely sucked. Do I lightning bolt this? If he's spamming this hard already. Maybe he's not going for, for Planet of the Grapes. That's crazy. Yeah, we can play the fossil head, which is nice. Let's hit her face. I think we just clog the other lands here. We'll take the value and go face first. Let the one damage in us. Yes. Oops! I, I did that wrong. The, <laughs> the uh, genetic has to be in the middle. I just play those cards too fast. He's killing that one anyway, so that's fine. It's possible it's not Cycle Cat. All these cards, like, you can play this in Cycle Cat. It's like a cheap card that draws another card. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Here's the second con, man. He seems to not... Well, if he didn't like the... He should have banana bombed the con, man. I don't know. That's some fruitcake is pretty good here. <laughs> bounce a random zombie. So, bounce a one drop into my hand. I got the wrong one. It looks like Cycle Cap and he just doesn't have the environment unit. Is this worth the fruitcake? I don't think so. He's taking more damage. You can run this for a small chance of getting Planet of the Grapes too. At least you don't get it. I don't think this fruitcake is worth it. I can also have a 1 th and 3 chance of blocking and making this survive. <laughs> this is worth it. For free, we're doing 6 damage just off, just for starters for free. This also is a 2 2 now. That is worth it. <laughs> right there. The definition of worth it. He also just can't cycle cap unless he removes this, which means he doesn't have enough brains. So that's awesome. Like, con man on the board, we have more health than him, so. Planet of the Grapes, Astro Shroom just kills him, basically. Bep. Oh, uh, yeah, but just con man, fruitcake, fruitcake is gonna win here. Uh, flank. Come here. Why not? Probably just fruitcake in three. Honestly, no, fruit bowl, double fruitcake like in four and something wins. Because uh it's all bullseye at that point with the con man. Con man does damage when we fruitcake. I think we got this one. We need a leap! We need a leap! <sighs> Much love, Fry Heart. Tinker Jenker. Thank you for three months subscribing. What packs do I recommend for beginner? But the premium packs, like maybe a little Galacta, you can buy just like a few Galacta and a few, just to get a little more variety of cards. But the premium set has a lot of really important budget cards, like your Swashbucklers and your Headstone Carvers are really good for budget players. And cards like you know cards like Elderberry is in a different set, and uh, Apple Saucers and the Galactic set, so those are pretty good for budget. But even then, you know still get cards like uh, Poison Ivy, which is good for budget players for aggro decks, or yeah, I'd say premium. Got him, alright, 5 and 3. <laughs> I think this deck's still doing fine, that we get, just got mashed up. I think that was just Cycle Cap who bricked. Um, and the berry and the, the cards he got on the board were conjured. I think he just did not get his point of the Grapes. Or didn't get Astro, sure. Scratch knuckles. 
Uh, this is a good starting hint. Why not? Start off with common again, just because forget me nuts are common. Bro. We can, you know, it's hard for grass knuckles to trade well against this. I'll see it's like more, a lot, a lot more one drops. I could really just develop these later though. Hmm. Is double middle manager the play? fun. The, the cool thing is that this can sometimes work well into cards that win a trade against middle manager. I'll just do this anyway. This just trades with his two drops, so we're we're winning with tempo. We're winning in card advantage too, because we do. So now I'll do middle manager. Chimney sweep. The thing is, I'm not playing around Rumble. I feel like I might have to wait a turn to, to test. If he has Rumble, I think he'll just use it here. So I'm gonna not play this. It's just so good to play this on Heights. There's the Rumble. Glad we tested for that. Let's try Caratops. Um, so we're coming up on turn four here. So it's 1-1. One, one. Into. So let's surprise him with this rather than just spamming it. It's probably better for it to hit this one anyway. Uh, the cool thing is we can commit teacher here. And we can maybe rock wall the teacher. He can't rumble anymore. Yeah, rumble's the problem against this deck because there's so many high value two health, <laughs> one or two health minions in it. Um, so, what is more important for him right now? Like, we can crew cake and rock walling too. I really just don't want the Captain Cucumber drawing too much here. It's probably what he needs to win. It's a little awkward not killing the Triceratops. The Triceratops also grows from this shot, but it's probably gonna just end up even trading with the genetic which i think is okay better than him conjuring legendaries and stuff even the card he got from the captain from the fruit cake is does cost one less there that's the mechanic he'll need a i mean yeah they even trail That's weird. I would have saved that, let this grow, and then root wall next turn. It's just, yeah, he just lost the root wall. I don't know. <laughs> he just completely failed that. Dude, come on. Wait till next turn. Why would you... <laughs> Why not save that? It gives a 1-1 one, one buff just to keep that in your hand there. Come on, man. He has an amazing turn 5 play. He has to spend all 5, so he just needs to, like, barely win this trade. Okay, I guess that's the logic. It kind of makes sense now. So this goes up to 4 or 5. This actually kills the Triceratops now. I don't know about that play. Um, we're in a really awkward situation because we, we just need cards now. We need going viral very badly. Going viral would be the top deck of the century. Huh? Coffee zombie ain't bad. Ain't bad. I think we go face with this. I like the, I like the going viral better really. But oh well, you'll need team ups just to deal with this. Have you watched Spider Verse movie? I couldn't get in. I started watching the original one. I couldn't really get into it. I don't know. I guess the animation was kind of cool. But... Wow, so that really didn't do anything. He's kind of desperation healing. But on the other hand, I mean we're putting, we're putting 15 damage on 17 health. If the block meter behaves. It does not. Rumble's gone though. Thank goodness. Can we get going viral please? We'll just kill him in lane one. Bro! <laughs> okay, maybe we'll get uh, Bungie Plumber. Yeah, Bucket Boy. Uh, this is going to be hard for us to hit face again, so. Dude. Oh, look at the synergy. Look at it, guys. 
He really wanted to get this little buddy, it doesn't matter at all. Here. Time to shine. Going viral just wins here, unfortunately. We don't have it. I need going viral. Warlord would have won too. But we get five to face. I think we're okay here. I think we should just let him block and we'll win like here with our one of our supers. It's fossil, huh? <sighs> yeah, not a whole lot happening here. I guess we'll do this. Well, no, that's kind of dumb. I think we let him proc our block. Because then Rock Wall or Lightning Bolt will win in a different line. Yeah, there's no real point in fossil hiding it. Obviously not Soul Patch, but... Uh, yeah, we need a block! I hope that doesn't cost us this game, that would be some BS. <laughs> Look at this pair go. Very sad. Uh, we're definitely blocking now. So we're still letting this at our face. What about plant food, though? Should I play around plant food? Is this r ridiculous to let us... Let, basically, well, Lightning Bolt will still answer it, but... I basically lose to plant food if I don't front this. Is stalling, letting this game go longer. And he kind of needs to proc our block right now. I think I'm just gonna make this trade now. It decreases our chance of winning this turn. It means he has more chance to develop BS like this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No! Well, it wouldn't have really mattered if we, if we block here now. He's out of cards though, I guess that's sort of good. The one superpower that would not have helped anyway. Okay! What the heck is going on in this game? Genetic! Doesn't do anything here, so it obviously goes here. Just to stall an extra turn. Maybe he just gets Shamrocket and we win. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do here? Come on, middle manager. We're down to one health. In a top deck situation, this doesn't really do anything. There's flag. Well, it does something now. If he gets a minion, I mean, he gets a potato mine. I'm just gonna play for him getting some utility card that can't be useful here. And we lose. And that's how we lose. That's how it goes. <laughs> I can't do anything because of these environments. Okay, maybe I need environments. Maybe that's the key then. We're five and four. No! <laughs> Alright guys, last game we'll add some environments. Just like you guys have been yelling at me in the chat. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> that was so sad. Have the teachers not been good enough? Here. No more teachers. Screw teachers. Overrated. Running black hole. I'll even update the deck list. Now we have a way of dealing with Nightcap and with, uh, I don't know, Force Field? Is that really what I have to play for? Is that... I don't think the Fossil Heads are good enough anymore. Fossil Heads would probably be a 2 of, and then, I don't know. It's so annoying. Can we? Can we? Can we? Yeah, the answer is no. Sorry, guys. We'll go for the six and four. Admiral Navy. Congratulations to the twenty-two percent who voted no to the. What am I supposed to do with this? I'll, I'll play Black Hole. It'll be good eventually. It's good against Bean Decks. Let's face it, guys. We told you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what am 
<laughs> Play, played against like cycle cap only today. <laughs> oh, man. Um. I'm gonna go with my gut and put this one in the environment just because it will be clearing things. I kind of want to buff this card, then it's just gonna be clearing things better. Admiral. This guy's hacking. Two more admirals. Uh, just keep going face with us, since we have one in our hand there. Let's go ask one. Shrinking Violet doesn't do enough. Well, we still haven't seen him play anything except for Admiral, so for all we know. Oh no, it's... He's going nuts! He's going nuts! Bruh! Going viral just wrecks his entire life! This has four, has four health! Yeah, it breaks through. That's crazy, dude. Dude! This moves. Okay. Great, I'll do six damage to you in that lane. And here's five. God damn! God damn, it's harsh. Should I cover a 2-4 with a 2-3? I think since we just need 2 damage, I'm just gonna play this. Like that. We just need to proc the block and do 2. It's not gonna heal. I mean, he's probably running poppin' poppies in this deck because of Citron Gona. Why else do you run Gonas with Citron? Garlic. I think I am going to put this on YouTube. The deck's performing well. This is a really fun stream. I think the coffees were fine. If anything, we just needed more coffees. I think this is going to go on YouTube. And it looks like we got this game in the bag, so... 6-4? and 6-4 six and four. Six and four playing it was Ultimate League. It means you can hit Ultimate League with this deck. <sighs> I... See, I'll... I'll... And some decks will just go 6 and 4 and I won't put them on YouTube because they just didn't do the purpose. The whole point of the deck didn't work, and that's why it performed underperformed. Today it was just bad matchups, though. I feel like the deck actually performed really well, but we lost to, like, Cycle Cap. We lost to a lot of BS. Man, that Espresso hurt. We should have won that one. We would have been... Yeah, we would have been 7 and 3. <laughs> Any one of those games going... A, you know what I mean? One fewer Dragon Fruit from Captain Cucumber, we would be 7 and 3 right now. So I, I'm gonna say this is gonna go on YouTube. This uh, the deck performed well. Everything did okay. <laughs> black hole kind of carried that game. Not gonna lie. Maybe you guys are onto something with the black holes. The teachers weren't that important. There aren't really enough tricks in this deck anyway. It's kind of good with like fossil head. Maybe this deck like since I'm not running teacher, I would remove fossil head completely. And like I don't know. You can run everything from quasar to I don't know what else you run in this deck. Unlife? Guys, run Unlife. Unlife with Flagstorm. It's OP. I don't know. <laughs> They're a threat. I used to run uh, Unlife in, like, uh, ZMAX Swarm Death. Alright, guys. That is going to be all for now. That is going to go on YouTube. Thanks for an awesome stream. Coffee. The coffee was fine. I'm looking forward to trying Coffee Zombie, perhaps, and other ones. Maybe Rust Bolt so you can teleport it in and surprise them with... I don't know. It <laughs> turned seven. You just died of Brain Anna. As supposed to going viral, which you only have to leave over three brains so you don't die as bad as brain Anna. Probably a bad idea. I will see you guys in the next one. That was awesome. Peace. This is Fry.